Hey guys, it's Scott with a little layer stalker tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make this kind of sexy little map animation. I've got some coolish uh, sort of 3D tags flying up from these little vehicle icons animating around on a street map. So what I've made that out of is this street map comp in which I have these little icons animating around. I've got this grid layer with a few highlighted hero streets, and then I have this comp where I've brought both of those two comps in. I have set them up as 3D layers. You notice I've parented them to a null called rotation null, and I'm using that null to control their rotation. And then I've got some position keyframes on the grid layer to separate it off in Z space. That's all well and good. The trick now is to get our callouts, these little tags, to stick to the location in our 3D space out here that's occupied by those little vehicle icons and their corresponding markers in the grid layer. So, step one, I'm going to go to my grid layer. I will drop in my street map comp. Now I'm just going to use this uh, really as reference. I'm going to use it to let Layer Stalker pull the positions of those little icons out. I don't even actually need to see it. It just needs to be in the comp. And I'm going to take this little marker I've got here. I'll expand its position property, choose the position, and then I come over to my Layer Stalker palette and I click Choose Target Layer. Now I can expand that street map comp that I just brought in here. Choose Vehicle 1, stalk this layer. And you'll see that's tracking along where that vehicle is in the map underneath. I can hide that again because I don't need it. Back out here, and you see that's just as we would expect following along above its corresponding little vehicle icon. So let's connect those two up with a beam effect. I've already applied a beam effect to this 2D solid here, and I can uh, simply select its start point, choose target layer, expand the grid layer and choose that marker that I just put in there. Stalk this layer. There you go. I'll repeat that with the beam's end point. And for this one, we want to stick it to the vehicle icon in the street map layer. So I'll choose vehicle one down there, stalk this layer. And you can see those are stuck right on there just beautifully. So, next we'll uh, do the same sort of thing with this tag, position, this layer, grid build, marker one, stock this layer, that's on there, and I've got a text label we'll do the same thing with. Stock this layer, and that's on there. Great. Nice thing about that is these two exist in the 2D space of the comp, so they'll always be facing the camera, they'll always stay the same size, but they'll just track along with those no matter where we put them. Repeat that a few times, and here we are with the final result. Nice thing about this is I can, I can change my camera to a wide-angle camera, everything still stays stuck on. I can change the rotation of that null that they're parented to. Everything stays stuck on there. I could parent that null to another null, no problem. Pretty powerful little tool. So that's one thing you can do with Layer Stalker. See what you can come up with. Thanks, have fun.